Hey guys, welcome back to the Motion Raceworks YouTube channel. As you may or may not know, we bought TBM brakes about a year ago today, and I wanted to jump in and do a quick tech tip on brake fluid. Hey guys, before we get into the video, I wanna talk a little bit about brake fluid. This is not meant to be an infomercial, but using the correct brake fluid with your aftermarket braking system does matter. Silicone-based brake fluids are a big no-no in drag racing. No, 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 no. One of the things I learned when we bought TBM was a lot about the fluid compatibility. So there's dot three, dot four, dot five, dot five point one, and a few others out there on the market. And uh, while it seems like they're all just going up in temperature range, they're actually made of different materials, which actually interacts differently with the brake system. So what a lot of people end up trying to do is find a balance between what's compatible and what handles the heat temperature, which our Extreme 6 brake fluid does. This is a dot three and four compatible fluid, which means you don't have to drain the system completely to use this. Dot three and four is what most automotive manufacturers use, but we designed this to be a high temperature brake fluid that's compatible. What we wanted to talk about was silicone based fluids versus non-silicone based fluids. Now, silicone-based fluids were introduced not too long ago. The main purpose of a silicone-based brake fluid is that it's not corrosive to paint. Oftentimes, when you're filling up a brake reservoir, you might drip it on the paint, and then it ruins the paint, bubbles it up, spiders it, all that stuff. Uh, so they developed that to make it really compatible with paint, mostly, which is great in like hot rod and stuff applications. But in racing, um, as you may or may not know, O-rings are involved in brake calipers and silicone reacts differently with O-rings than do uh, a standard non-silicone uh, based fluid. So a perfect example of this, this is an inch and a half diameter piston. Um, this is a, uh, an O-ring right out of the package and uh, has been in like a standard style brake fluid and it fits firmly on the, uh, the piston as it should. It needs a seal against it, needs a ride against it. It's not only support, but it's also uh, a sealing surface. This one's also brand new out of the package, but was submerged in a silicone-based fluid uh, as commonly sold by a lot of aftermarket uh, brake fluid manufacturers. And you can see how loose it is on it. Now, that's because it's not contained in an O-ring groove. So you can imagine if it's going to swell like this in a contained situation, it's actually going to swell and seize up on the piston. Also, when it's introduced to a silicone style brake fluid, it begins to get brittle and crack, which oftentimes leads to leaks. So oftentimes when we get a caliper that is leaking um, years down the road, we ask what fluid they're running. Uh, most times people don't know because it's been a while, but we can usually indicate that it's been in a silicone based brake fluid environment. So don't use those fluids. Use a dot three or four a solvent based um, brake fluid. If you have questions on what's compatible, give us a call or use our Extreme 6 brake fluid. It's compatible with aftermarket brakes, our brakes, and uh, is definitely a good option. It's a DOD 5.1, which is actually not a DOT 5. It's the next number up. A little bit confusing, but it's not DOT 5. DOT 5 is a silicone base. Anyways, hopefully that helps you guys. There's not a lot of information out there on what brake fluid to use or not to use. It's oftentimes really a low hanging uh, benefit thinking, oh, I'm gonna use some fluid that's not corrosive to my paint, but it has drawbacks in terms of your brake function. And as you've seen with the O-rings, it's not a good thing. Tech Tip Tuesday, Tech Tip Tuesday. Stay tuned for the next Tech Tip Tuesday. If you guys have ideas, drop them down below in the comment section. We'd love to hear your guys' ideas. Uh, it's where things like this come from and uh, inspires us to make new videos. We'll see you guys next time.